Hi Aquarius, welcome to your reading. This is gonna be for November 13th through the 19th. It is for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. If this one doesn't resonate, definitely check out those other placements. It is a general reading, so it may not resonate for everyone who watches. So we're gonna get into your recent past, your current energy, and the near future, and then we will clarify that and take a look at what the universe has for you. If you are returning, welcome back. Thank you guys for all of your support. If you are new, welcome. I do hope if you enjoy the messages, you'll consider subscribing. And if you would like a personal reading, that information's in the description box below or the about section of my channel. All right, so let's get right into it and see what's going on for you guys. All right, so we have the Eight of Cups. So no doubt you're leaving something behind. This could just be emotions that you've been feeling if there's been a little bit of overwhelm. Uh, today's the new moon, so happy new moon. Um, it can also be you walking away from some things that have been burdening you. Um, not sure that it's a person, not feeling strongly that it is, but there is some indication that you are just walking away. All right, so in the recent past, we have the Four of Swords with the Two of Swords and then the Wheel of Fortune. Okay, so if you've been, I'm look, whatever you're walking away from, I just heard something about a job. If you're deciding to walk away from a job and you thought this through, you made a decision, it was a faded event. If it's a person, it's the same thing. Because when the Wheel of Fortune comes out, this is saying something was not fulfilling you anymore. It doesn't mean it didn't at one point. It just wasn't and it was time to leave anything connected to it emotionally or otherwise behind because something had to change. Something significant had to make a shift and this was a faded event. Um, I just heard scary for some reason. It may have felt a little bit scary to make this decision, but I feel like you took your time to think it through before you made the choice. And this could have been a long time ago or a week ago. Um, it's just an energy of it was the right time. It had to happen and it's for your benefit because something better is coming along and it was absolutely faded. Now, in your current energy, we have the Ace of Pentacles in reverse with the King of Wands. If you're asking if there's going to be a chance with somebody from a past situation, I don't think there will be. Um, so here's the thing. The King of Wands can also be your energy. And if you don't want to give something another chance, don't. If you've already decided you weren't going to clearly and you're making a choice about whether to walk away, you're making the right decision. I don't think investing any more time into something is worth it for you. The King of Wands is all about integrity and depth and passion. And I think that's what you're you're doing. You're not giving something another opportunity and you're saying, no, I'm moving forward. Um much more about the future instead of what's behind me. I don't need to focus on this anymore. I'm getting fired up about what could be in the future and allowing myself to open up. It's like new horizons is what I keep seeing and feeling. It's like there's something so much bigger out there for you. And I think you realize that now. Now let's look into, how about not upside down cards? <laughs> okay, so seven of pentacles. Yes, you're, you're just not going to invest in things that don't seem to get to a certain point, meaning... You're not going to wait around for people to make choices for you. You're not going to wait around for things to happen. You're a go-getter. You just are naturally one of those that goes after what you want. So I want to say this faded event, something just popped in my head that was a reading I did. And I want to say to anyone listening that is starting something new, whatever you walked away from in the past was the right move because whoever this new person is, if you've already met them or if you're about to meet them, it's because the connection is gonna be passionate and deep. So you could be dealing with a Libra, I'm sorry, a Leo or a Libra, since I said it, a Leo, Sagittarius, or an Aries. I'm also getting Libra, Gemini, or Aquarius. Okay, so the Seven of Pentacles in reverse, the Queen of Swords. See, you're getting very clear about not investing in things that aren't worth investing in. It makes sense. Sometimes we just do. It's part of what we learn here as souls. And I think you are finally at a place where you're just like, I'm not going to sit around and wait. I'm very clear about who I want. I move with integrity. And period, I'm not dealing with anybody like this. I've dealt with those types of people in the past. If you have any questions about whether somebody is not being honest, I think you'll see right through it. I don't think you have that concern um, with the person 
that if you're thinking about somebody now or you've just recently been involved with, or even if you have been for a little bit, you want to make sure that you're not just throwing caution to the wind and jumping into it. I think you're going to be very honest and speak your truth. But if you would do have some questions, I would just approach your, your person. If you're concerned that there's something going on, I don't think there is. But I think there may be fears that if you invest, you may end up dealing with a, a similar situation from the past where maybe somebody didn't invest as much as you did or something just wasn't right. But I think this is more about the positive of what you've walked away from and, and how you're moving now in your life. All right, let's see what the challenge is. The five of wands is to avoid drama, is to repeat lessons, because this is about learning. They are training. That's what they're doing. But we do call it kind of the drama card. So it, it, for you, it can be hard not to allow those things to bubble up within. We all go through that, especially if we've had trauma. It's hard. You may feel a little combative or the energies may be a little strong. It is a new moon in Scorpio. So yes, your energy, you're one of the fixed signs that apparently could be feeling this pretty heavy. So just be aware of what you're feeling and make sure that you appoint those feelings to the right people. Because if there's someone in your life that really hasn't done anything and you're questioning because it feels familiar or you're not sure if a sign is the same sign as something you've had in the past, I would say try not to get caught up in the drama. If it's a challenge not to be argumentative or want to kind of battle with somebody when you're unsure of where you stand with them. Um, just be cautious of it. All right, so let's go ahead and clarify. We've got the Eight of Cups. So what are you walking away from? My poor cards are getting bent. There we go. All right, so with the Eight of Cups, we have the Two of Cups, which is a good sign because you've walked away from one thing, an emotion, a connection, and you're walking into something where two people actually see eye to eye, which is great. Like I said, faded event. And then we have the Eight of Swords. All right, get out of your own way is what I want to say. Don't know why they're pushing me to say it, but I'm incredibly straightforward with these energies. It's like, don't allow yourself to stay stuck in a past situation. Let it go. This Whoever this energy is that you are with now or you're about to meet, you want to make sure that you recognize how different it is and not allow yourself to stay stuck in your head. Okay, and then the King of Pentacles. You definitely dealt with people in the past that were not stable, no doubt. And then the Six of Wands. Okay, so the lack of success in a situation creates a fear for future situations. Just, I keep hearing, take it slow. Okay, so the Four of Swords, if you were walking away from a job, by the way, it's because it wasn't successful and you didn't feel stable or you just didn't feel like you were going to move any further and it felt stuck and you needed to... Either you had a conversation with somebody who understood where you were and that was the decision that had to be made. You agreed, okay? <clears throat> it's just time for you to move on. Could be a, a partner that you talked to about this. That's one scenario. So the Four of Swords with the Two of Swords in reverse, we have the Nine of Swords. <clears throat> Excuse me. So yes, there was some stress involved, clearly. You could have been losing sleep. And that's part of the reason that you were making this decision. You don't want to allow yourself to get so far in your head that you then obviously start losing sleep over it. When we're stressed, we're stressed. Sometimes we can't avoid it. But I think you knew that that was also part of it. If something's creating that much stress in your life, you can't afford to stay there. Two of Swords in reverse with the Wheel of Fortune, Queen of Pentacles. Again, a lack of stability. A lack of feeling stable. There's the Queen of Pentacles and the King of Pentacles in reverse. If it was a relationship, then you had to leave because it wasn't obviously very grounded or stable. And if it was a work situation, there was it wasn't growing. There was something that just wasn't creating that feeling anymore. And something had to change. Ace of Pentacles with the King of Wands and the Upright. Two of Wands. This is a good sign because... If you're meeting somebody new and they're very passionate, it looks like there's a feeling of, oh, there's a light at the end of the tunnel. Now I can look into the future. That's twice now the two of wands has come out and you're being guided towards that light. Look forward to the future. Try not to stay as much in the past energies. King of wands with the two of wands, we have the hierophant. Wow, oh, they're lighting the way for you. There's all kinds of light there. And the having faith and trusting, which I think you do. 
This is just kind of recognition for your faith. This is also about higher learning. For some of you, this could be an opportunity to learn something new and different. And that be may be why, because you needed to grow in your work and it wasn't growing or you're finding that now and you're trying to make a decision about how you move forward. If you're working for yourself, it could be a significant shift in your business and having faith that if you look towards the future and long-term goals, that you could pave the way for something really exciting. So the seven of pentacles, you definitely don't want to invest in something that wasn't working. The queen of swords, you had to get really honest with yourself about it. Hermits in reverse. So whatever needed to be revealed has already been revealed. And you've sort of shed an old skin, if you will, an old version of yourself. Um, and you're moving a little bit differently with more concise action. So the Queen of Swords with the Seven of Swords, Temperance in Reverse, you don't have any patience or tolerance, and I totally understand this. For people who are full of crap, people that either lie or you get the indication that they just don't mean well, you don't have any patience for that. You're just too, too clear about your direction. So this could be with people in work too. If you feel like somebody is not on the same page with you, then you move away from that. You just don't have any tolerance for it, especially lazy people, I just heard. All right, so let's look at the Five of Wands, the Page of Pentacles in reverse. So I want to say this again because we all have the ability to be combative. Being combative is not going to be great for you. In this case, it's not going to help push things forward easily. Not that they're not going to move forward because what's meant to happen is going to happen. It's how you work through those energies, meaning how you kind of go with the flow or how much you allow this not to be just getting more control over yourself, which I think you have and realizing that this is not where you want to be. You've learned enough. Like you don't want to keep repeating lessons and you don't want it to feel like it's at a stopping point all the time. Like you keep coming to these blocks or these uh, places where you just feel like something new can't happen. So I think really not fighting it. Don't fight the change. All right, so let's get an outcome. Well, there's several different things going on. So let's just get some advice from Spirit. What else do you have for Aquarius? Okay, so we have the Six of Swords. They're saying you're about to get to a much better place. It's like you're being guided. Crows could be significant for you, the number six as well. It's like they're tugging you along. They're really pulling you to the other side. And you're going to make it. You will. So if it's been stressful or you've been, you know, losing sleep because you've had so much on your mind, you're about to get to a much better space. The Nine of Swords, that's what they're saying. They're, they're saying, yes, we know it's been stress, stressful. I can get the words out. But the Six of Swords is that indication that, yes, they're trying to pull you in the other direction so that you get more calm and relaxed and you will get through it judgment. The decision's already been made. Just hang tight because they're going to pull you through whatever challenges you may have had. Three of Pentacles. For some of you, this is just like you can't, you can't work together with people. For those of you that are wanting to leave a situation or have because you felt there was no growth, it was also a lack of recognition. And if you don't feel appreciated in what you do, there's just no time for that. There has to be change, especially if it's been stressing you out. And then we have the Queen of Pentacles. So this is what they want you to understand is there are new things that are growing. This is being content. This is where you're going to find yourself. So if this week seems a little bit challenging, that's the end result is that you're going to be back in this place of feeling okay, getting grounded. I know that I'm okay. Some things may be realized by the end of the week as well. And you're just in a good, stable place. All right, let's look at the Lover's Oracle. This is for Aquarius. Okay, so they want this. Why does it feel like there's two? Transformation. Your relationship with one another is about to deepen love, conquers, and transforms all things. So if you are releasing things from the past and you're with somebody new, and it, I don't care if it's been a year or two years that it's somebody newer, you're still letting go of some things that had happened. And allowing this to unfold. If it's even more new, then yes, it's about to deepen. Look inside yourself. Examine what is causing you to feel this way. For sure. Again, it's looking back on what you've already experienced. Not wanting to recreate drama or problems. 
and saying, why do I feel this way? Why does this bring this up for me and what do I need to let go of? Reflection, give each other some space at the moment, trust and have faith that all will work out for the best. Okay, so if there needs to be a little bit of space and you're just going through whatever this is for this week, that's all it is. It's just about you reflecting and not carrying past situations into new situations. Okay, what are the last cards that you want for Aquarius, please? All right, so we have Mending. Inner child work, it comes out a lot. It's because it's something that's really important right now on the planet, period, is that we're healing childhood wounds. We're trying to take things forward. We're trying to shift humanity. So you could be 52, born on the 5th, the 2nd, or the 7th. And then the why. Why certain things have to happen. This card's come out in almost every reading I've done today. It's really looking deeply into understanding why. Why are you here? What are you doing? Why did these things have to happen? And what lessons did you learn? Until we really get to a place where we can open up and accept healing and move beyond just all that is human, we can really learn a lot about why things had to happen. Not that it's the easiest thing to accept, but I want to say for a, a lot of people, there's going to be some books that pop up in your awareness. Go ahead, take a look. You could be 31, born on the third, the first or the fourth. And then we have Yang energy. So that's good because it's, I don't care what gender you are. This is about, to me, about masculine energy, the individual, and really putting a lot of, it's love, fire. Uh, they're saying so much, so bear with me for a second while I get these messages, if you will. It is the oneness energy. It is about we are all one. That's something that's hard to really wrap any brain around until you understand it deeply. But I think you're getting it more clearly and you're also realizing that if you don't take care of yourself first that nothing else is going to prosper so this is about individual taking care of you this week doing what you have to do for you and then by the book so this is also a pair card this can be a soulmate but doing things by the book i mean what's the book what's your book that's what matters is are you following old traditions do you prefer things that are a little bit different? Because that's where we are. We're not doing things the same way we used to. So maybe a part of you felt like it had to look a certain way. And now you're you're seeing that things can actually be a little bit different than what you thought. Or were conditioned to believe they had to be in order to work properly. But this is about partnership. So something could be seeming like it's going with the flow a little bit more so than things have in the past. Or maybe too easy at times. But soak it up because it feels really good. All right, so pay attention to ones because you've got one, one, one. And that may be something that you see very often. So if you do, that's a sign. And that just means that there's something in this message for you. All right, my loves, those were your messages. Thank you so, so much again for being here. Please hit that like button on your way out. And if you would like a personal reading, that information's in the description box below or the about section of my channel. Have an amazing week. Sending you tons of love and I will see you in the next one. Take care.